Hi guys, so it's day two. We're still here at Davis and we are training hard and today we've been focusing on the equipment. Last time I was actually here in Davis, I made a 30,000 foot jump. Uh, that was in 2005 and uh, another high altitude wingsuit jump. And the issue we had at the time was the oxygen system uh, worked for about 20 seconds out of the door before I had a freeze on the exhaust valve. And what happens is the airflow is coming out normally of a port here. And what actually happens on the pre-breathe is that you get the pool of moisture in your breath and it pulls and as soon as you go into minus 48 degrees C it freezes into a nice plug and you can't breathe. So what we've done this time to resolve that, because that was my biggest concern on this one, is we've actually got an uh, exhaust valve which is extended away um, from the mask which is going to mean the exhaust is taken away from that cold area. And then on top of that we need to shield that from the cold. So the way we've shielded that from the cold is with this. And what that does is it keeps the whole of the mask area where the exhaust valve is completely protected. And at 42,000 feet, when it's that cold, it's absolutely critical to have that protection. So we've tested that today uh, and we're very happy with where we are. The helmet is based on uh, what's called a bonehead aero. It's a very lightweight, um, it's uh, basic impact protection, uh, nothing special in that aspect. But what it is special is it allows the uh, full integration of the oxygen system inside. So that mask is completely shielded. Currently there are two of these in the world. There's the first prototype which went through all of the cold testing uh, and fitment testing and there's this. So this is a very unique bit of kit and has been specially built for this project. One of the first jumps we did today was to effectively make sure that there was no flutter on the helmet which can happen. Uh, and what that effectively means is when I'm pushing 140, 160 mile per hour wind across it, I could get shaking. None of that uh, worked absolutely beautifully. Uh, we've integrated it with the mask um, and I've actually put the oxygen system on today as well because the oxygen system weighs three kilos. So adding a big three kilo bottle down the side of my body could cause some instability with the wingsuit. It's had no effect. Um, so it's been a really good day technically. Uh, we're very happy with the jumping and how the training's going. I'm fairly confident with where we've got to. I'm not overly confident because at the end of the day, we're going to the most extreme place above the planet. Uh, and therefore you need to respect where we're going. So we're still being meticulous about every single aspect of the jump. So day two has been a really good day. Um, pretty high end all round. Um, teams performed, um, all the equipment's performed. Uh, we've had some really good flights and um, we're on target for uh, a good next couple of days uh, and preparation for the record couldn't have gone better so far.